guys, Liam here on Grady's Mom. I am very excited to film this video today. It has actually been on my list for a long time. I am a huge Walmart shopper, you guys know this. I actually moved out of my parents' house at 18, 20, almost 20 years ago, and that's when I discovered Walmart. That was like when Walmart was first coming to at least my area. I don't know, it's probably been around way longer than that, but about 20 years ago is when like it first came to the area I was living in. And I remember going there with my first roommate um, and I just loved it because it was so cheap. So 20 years later, I have my own family now and I go to Walmart pretty much like two times a week to get my groceries and miscellaneous things. And over the years, I have just discovered some really great things that pretty much you can only get at Walmart, like these specific things. So in this video, I wanted to share those specific things with you guys so that if it's something that you're interested in, you can try it as well because it, these are all things that I have, they're tried and true for me. Like I have used them enough to where I trust myself to recommend them to you guys and they're all really, really affordable. So also, I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in seeing this type of video, but only food, because in this video, it's nothing food-wise, so none of the products I'm going to show you are edible, but I was thinking of doing another video like this, to like all my favorite, like best of the best things food-wise that you can only get at Walmart, like exclusive to Walmart, whether it's like a Walmart brand um, or just something specifically from Walmart. So if you think you'd be interested in seeing that, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to jump in with the first item, um, which are these pajama pants. Now the brand on these is, I want to show you guys the uh, tag so you know what to look for. The brand on these is Secret Treasures. And this brand is actually by another brand. Um, like a, I want to say, is it, I don't know if it's like the brand Bally. Bali, but it's like an, it's owned by a, a bigger, higher end brand. Um, but the Secret Treasures pajama pants, like these are these ones, obviously as you can see, are brand new. They are nine eighty eight. So I bought these to replace an old pair that I had that ripped. So I have three pairs already. Um, these are a couple years old. They're just like these unicorn prints pink like jogger they're all like the jogger style they so they have like the jogger style on the bottom they all have pockets so like you can put stuff in your pockets no back pockets on the butt just like a drawstring waist um again secret treasures they're all 988 these are probably two and a half years old these are probably the same um these are like a cat print and these are the ones that i'm replacing because they're like a gray polka dot they actually have a hole in the crotch, which I just discovered recently. So yeah, there's a hole right in the crotch. So these are gonna these are gonna go um, in the trash because I'm not wearing pants with a hole in the crotch. But yeah, these all these pairs are like two years old. So and I wear them all the time, guys. When I am home from you know wherever I've been all day, and I know I'm gonna be home, the first thing I do is put on my comfy clothes, which is like a pair of these or leggings with some kind of hoodie, throw on my robe. I just like to be comfy. So these are gonna be trash and I'm gonna replace them with these because I wanna always have three pairs that I can rotate. They are just buttery soft. I love that they have the jogger style on the bottom because I am short so I don't want anything dragging on the floor. Um, they wash really well. I do hang dry all of our clothes. So um, if that's not something you do, I would think they'd be okay in the dryer but I would probably say you wouldn't get as long of wear out of them because the dryer as you guys know beats up our clothes and shrinks our clothes um but because i hang dry i think i can get a i get a little bit longer of my you know out of my clothes so i definitely wanted to recommend these um they had like velvety ones they had all different ones um super super cute so let's jump in now and i'm going to show you everything else on this list of like the best of the best favorite things that i only get at walmart i hope you guys enjoy it So one of the items I had to include in this video are the Parents' Choice brand, which is like a Walmart house brand, wipes. I 
absolutely love these. I consider myself kind of a wipes junkie. I've just always had like a fascination to find the best wipes. These are definitely, definitely for like a, a regular old wipe, like not a hand wipe, kind of just a regular like diapering wipe. These are my favorite um, for sure. Definitely in my top three like all time wipes, including like hand wipes and any kind of wipe. I love these. Um, price wise, they're amazing. They're under $2. Uh, I really like this cucumber scent, but I've tried all the scents. I've even tried the unscented. I've tried the sensitive skin. They come out with seasonal scents. Um, I just think they're one of the best bangs for your buck. Uh, we use wipes for everything. We use them to clean up small messes. I use them to clean my car when it's dusty or gross. Obviously our hands as well. I just always love to have wipes. If you've never tried the Parents' Choice brand, I highly recommend it. Obviously, the bigger amount, uh, you know, quantity of wipes you buy, the cheaper they get per pack. So if you are somebody who goes through a lot of wipes, I would recommend getting like a big box. But of course, you could just try an individual pack first to see if you like them. I find the quality to be really high. I love their scents, and I just think they are just excellent, excellent wipes. So I had to mention those. These Walmart uh, brand mainstays, which is, I believe, another house brand of Walmart, these washcloths are the best for cleaning. Obviously, you can wash with them too, so like whenever we have guests, I always keep separate ones because most of the time I use these for cleaning. My husband uses them too. I use them for dusting, for scrubbing. We have a cat that sometimes throws up because she is old and she like cough up a hairball. We have a son with gastrointestinal issues that sometimes throws up. So needless to say, I do a lot of scrubbing. Um, again, I also use these for dusting. I use these for regular cleaning. My husband always likes to keep some in his truck for work, for cleaning, because he does work in the construction industry. But these are the best. You get an 18 pack, which I feel like I buy like one of these every year. And it's like under $4 for all these. They're good quality. They wash really well. They're just 100% cotton washcloths and like I mentioned I keep a few separate so they don't ever get exposed to cleaning products like if we have guests they have a fresh clean washcloth and I always keep a bin under my kitchen sink um, these are some of these are like miscellaneous type of rags but these are like the mainstays ones and then like every year or so I'll go through and if they have like holes or really bad like bleach stains or something I'll throw them out and then I always get a fresh 18 pack I feel like again like maybe once a year once every year and a half they're just really really good so I highly recommend getting these for both washing as well as cleaning The next thing I had to mention are these sneakers from Walmart, obviously. Um, and these, we have been getting like this style sneaker literally since Grady was probably about three and a half years old. He is now seven. So I think when we first started buying these, he was in like a little kid's like size nine or 10. And now he's in like a bigger kid size three. They are $13.87, and if you guys have kids, you know how expensive it can be for kids' shoes. For one, they have really good grip and traction on the bottom. They have a nice, thick, like, sole, so I feel like not only are they comfortable for him, but they're just really durable, um, and I really like the Velcro because my son has not yet mastered tying his shoes. So these are just easy to un-Velcro, slip your foot in, put the Velcro on, and go. I buy him these, I will continue to buy him these as well until he can no longer, you know, until like he's sized out of whatever, I think the biggest size they have in these is like a six. Um, so again, he's in a size three now, so when he goes to a four, I'll buy a four and a five and so on again until we can't, you know, he can't fit into this style anymore. $13.87. They're just really good quality guys. We use them specifically for play shoes, but there's definitely times when he's just thrown them on and gone to school and they're perfectly fine. Um, I mean, they're not the most fashionable or glamorous looking sneaker, but he's a little boy, so he doesn't really care. Um, he never seems to like complain about like them being uncomfortable or I can always tell with my son because he won't want to wear a pair of shoes like if they're too tight 
or if they hurt his feet. He never complains about these. Um, they're just really great. I've talked about these in different videos over the years, so I wanted to mention. I am pretty sure they have to have a little girl's version of these, something comparable. Um, but for those of you with little boys, I highly recommend giving these a shot if you're sick of paying $50, $60, $70 for sneakers. Even like on the cheaper end, sometimes you can be paying like $30 to $40. And these are $13.87 at Walmart. The next thing I had to mention is a Pioneer Woman product, which is sold, I believe, specifically at Walmart. And I got this dish drying or dish mat a few months back, and I have been absolutely obsessed with it. I actually have several different Pioneer Woman products from bowls um, to like different de uh, decorative things, and um, this is my favorite. Um, it's just under $10. I like the shape of it, the look of it is cute, but what I really like is how thick it is um, and how large it is. So it, it's definitely larger than a standard dish mat. I actually have another one here to show you. So I'm going to put this right on top of here and then show you guys how much larger it is. I mean, obviously it's not double the size, but it's significantly larger enough to where I can, when I'm washing my pots and pans and things like that, I can fit all everything on here. I also use this when I'm unloading my dishwasher. Anything that's a little bit damp, I set on here as well and it just air dries quickly. This has completely eliminated like a dish rack for me, like you know those wire or plastic sort of dish rack things that we have that we put all of our dishes in. This has eliminated that for me. I actually don't even have one anymore. I gave it to my brother because I never used it. I love this because it's large. I can lay everything out, it air dries quickly. It is also reversible. Um, it has this like pretty yellow pattern, but I always tend to put this side up and then the nice thing is unlike a dish rack when you're not using it and you don't need it, you can easily just fold it right up like this and put it right into a drawer unlike a dish rack where you can't really fold it up. You have to sort of find a location for it. So I highly recommend this. If there's other prints um, that are available, I'm not sure. There might be online. My Walmart only had this specific print in this product, but I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. It would also be a really great gift for somebody who's a Pioneer Woman lover. One thing now that I always now buy only from Walmart are the Great Value brand aluminum foil and bags. I'm actually going to be starting to buy the Great Value brand Saran Wrap but I still have this Glad one left. Um, there's, I don't know, a little bit less than half a roll left. But once this is gone, I plan to replace that with a Great Value brand Saran Wrap. Uh, I actually was got onto this brand um, of this specific item from my parents. Uh, I started noticing like when my mom would bag something up or wrap something up, she always had the Great Value. And I asked her about it and she swears by it and says it's better than the name brand. It's obviously a lot cheaper. Um, and I'm not talking guys about like pennies cheaper. It is significantly cheaper. And you guys know how expensive things like aluminum foil, saran wrap, and baggies can be. I know that sounds silly in the big spectrum of things, but if you're like me and you're in the kitchen a lot or you're packing lunches every day or snacks every day, you can really go through things like this quickly. So ever since I have switched um, over to these products, I've been really happy. Um, I actually have gallons and quarts here. Um, as soon as my sandwich and snack bags run out, I still have um, the name brand, which is the Ziploc and the Glad. I still have a few sandwich bags, or a few snack bags and a few sandwich bags, but once these boxes run out, I plan to replace them once again with the Great Value brand. Um, nothing about these is chintzy or cheap. It is significantly cheaper. This, um, I used to buy the uh, Reynolds Heavy Duty Aluminum Foil and it is not cheap. I switched to this one. It is thick. It cuts well, like the cutter is cuts really well. The roll doesn't get stuck all weird. I never have, an, I have not had any issues with this. I believe this is my third roll of this. I do go through quite a bit because I roast a lot of meats, veggies, potatoes, and I, I need this for that. But it's significantly cheaper. 
The bags are wonderful. There's nothing chintzy about them. Like they're high quality bags. The zipper part really locks well. Um, there's a nice area where you can write whatever it is that you're freezing if you need, you know, if that's the case or if you're giving somebody like baked items. The bags themselves don't feel cheap because that was my concern. I thought, oh, well, they're much cheaper, so the quality is not going to be there. And I was definitely wrong um, and totally had the wrong misconception. There is nothing cheap about these except the price. Um, these are the gallon ones. Again, a nice, thick, like, zipper seal that locks well. I love that you have the little area to write because the gallon ones, I freeze a lot of, um, you know, like hot foods or freezer meals soups things like that um so yeah the bags themselves feel really good quality i've never had any problems with freezer burn or leakage or ripping so again once my sandwich and snack bags run out i'll be switching to the great value brand if you've never tried it i highly recommend trying an item or two seeing if you like it and if you don't you don't but i pretty i'm pretty sure you're going to like the item and you're going to love the price All right, guys, so the next item I want to mention that I love from Walmart are these rose gold storage bins. Now, they come in two sizes, as you can see. So this one is the small, and the two in the back are the large. They always come in a two-pack, and they're always super cheap. Sometimes you can get the two-pack of the smaller ones for like $1.88 if they go on sale, but I think they're around $2-ish or so when they're not on sale. The larger ones come in in a two-pack for just under $3, and every once in a while, they'll put them on sale for like $2.50, um, but the large ones are pretty significant. The small ones I like a lot for gifting. They're really pretty like copper rose gold color. Um, they're really sturdy. They definitely like you can't bend them, like even if you push on them. They don't feel chintzy in any way, and they're really, really pretty as well. Um, so the small ones I really love to use for gifting. So I'll put a bunch of stuff in here, put some tissue paper, you know, a big cello bag, whatever the case is. They're great for gifting and organization. I really like using the larger ones for snack organization in my little like pantry cabinet. So I've got like fruit snacks in here and then I've got all different like granola bars and things in here which I use to keep all my snacks organized. If you're curious how I organize my kitchen cabinets and kitchen itself, I'll link my kitchen tour and organization video down below because I get a lot of questions about that. But I highly recommend these. They'd be good for so many different organizational things throughout your entire home. And obviously you could use both sizes for gifting as well. The last thing I wanna mention in this video is probably my favorite thing and the thing that came to my mind, not the cat, the mat, uh, first when I came up with the idea to film this video. This was the very first item that came into my mind that almost kind of inspired me to film this. Um, these are, there's two of them. So I have one flipped over because I wanted to show you guys the label in a second. So these are the, um, like the gel comfort mats. They're actually, they're actually by Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, the color of these that I have is chocolate chip, but they are the Pro Chef Comfort Anti-Fatigue Kitchen Mat. They are made of ergonomic foam and they're stain resistant. They are exclusive to Walmart. You can also get them online. So this is the back and then the front or the top looks just like the other one. Again, the color is chocolate chip. I have had this one for four and a half years. I got this one when we first moved into our previous home. In South Carolina which was like four and a half almost five years ago at this point and then I bought a second one the same exact one when we moved into this house about nine months ago this has been just such a lifesaver for me I remember so many times in my old house standing on this whether it was washing dishes prepping food cooking just standing at the stove I'm always in the kitchen because I cook every day and I just remember so many times just thanking the Lord for this because it just feels so good on your feet. It really does make a difference if you're going to be standing at the sink doing dishes, scrubbing pots, packing lunches, cooking dinners, anything you can imagine in the kitchen. This definitely will make a difference. Now, I mean, it's not the most glamorous looking thing in the world, um, but it does have like a nice sort of weave design. But what's really impressed me besides the comfort is how well this has held up. This is my old one. Again, it's about four and a half to five years old. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know how much I'm in the kitchen. 
So this thing has been stood on for hours and hours and hours over the past handful of years. It literally looks brand new. Like the edges don't look ratty at all. There's no like weird fraying or weird like discoloration. And then this is the new one and it looks just like, I mean, you couldn't even tell guys which one is the new one and which one is the old one. So they're just come in, they come in just under $30. They are a good size mat. Um, I definitely have to say they're good size, but they're just such a luxury for the kitchen. Um, I've seen, these are actually a dupe. They have them at Bath and Body, or, or Bed Bath and Beyond has like their own brand, which are like $70, I believe. So these are less than half the price. Again, the brand is Better Homes and Gardens. They do have a few different colors. I've seen like a cream one and a black one, and I believe there's another one that might be like a camel color. But this one just works best for this floor. We have like a dark, almost like a dark, dark brown chestnut bamboo floor. I absolutely love these. This is my definite number one favorite thing I've ever bought at Walmart. I recommend them to everybody. I actually want to get my mom a set for her birthday because she always compliments them whenever she stands on them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all the things that are my favorite things from Walmart. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you in my next video.